What is up, guys? Vodaway, Vodaway, back again with another freaking video. So, guess what, guys? You guys already know from the <coughs> from the title. Look what we just came in the mail. Cho Z Valkyrie. All right. Now, just look at the package. Look at the basic on the bottom. We got the beautiful. Show the Valkyrie layer. We get some Choji Valkyrie Z E V. And then we got some more info. I can't read Japanese, but then they're saying right here, these uh wings that comes out and they got the back, turns the parts, all this, and it says, Oh, we can change modes and comes right here, come like that. <coughs> oh, I'm so sorry. And then on the top, it's still saying the same mode. And then we got the 13 year old vault. And then from right here, it's a Zetsu burst system. And whatever those are, right spin, whatever. So let's look, let's look, let's open up the package. Let's open up the package. What the heck? What the heck? Bro, are you serious? They just give me. They, you guys didn't understand what you just saw, right? Look, they just gave me a Soji Valkyrie box. Like, they didn't even give me the Beyblade. It's like, nah, I got the Beyblade, bro. It's like, nah, bro, I got the Beyblade, alright? So, this is Soji Valkyrie. So, alright, just look at the layer. It really looks awesome. Like, it really looks good. Like, like, it's really bulky. Let's take off the layer. Like, you have really good recoil. Right here. Really good recoil right here. And then we got some metal. Other than right here. Sorry about that. If they would have made like this part all metal, this Beyblade would have been really heavy because this is like too bulky. It has it made it, they made it with like heavy plastic, and you see from the back they put like a metal ship, so it's weighted more because if they like don't put any metal on here, just put this, it won't be that heavy. So let's take out the wings. All right, hold on. All right. So that the wings are out. This is where the burst stopper is right here. And it's like stop the disc from bursting. Which is a really good gimmick. So the only way this Bailey can lose the only way you can't launch it with a regular string launcher. Like you can't launch it with a regular string launcher. So you have to like launch it with the Phoenix launcher. That's I believe that's the only one, or unless people probably try it out with the um, right spin launch, long spin launcher and stuff. I don't, I don't have that I don't have that launcher, so I don't know if it worked with that. But it worked with the Phoenix launcher. That's all I know. All right. So then that's that's the layer. Then we have the letter disc. The first letter disc since Infinity. No, my bad. Uh, yeah, that's the last letter disc we ever got. No, don't matter, bro. We have a lot of letters, a lot of letter discs. I don't think it really matter. But this disc is called Zenith. And this disc really weighs a lot because I don't know. It made with heavy plastic. It's really, it, it, what I saw, it weighs like 23 grams. This weighs about 22 grams, so the disc is heavier than the actual baby itself. So, it looks good. I mean, we have this. If you guys are wondering if this is rubber, I exactly can't really tell if it's rubber or not. I'm so sorry. Like, I don't, I'm not getting nothing. Like, right, my bad. Right, it's not focusing. Alright. 
I'm so sorry. It's not focusing. All right. See right here. It's a, I, it's like really hard rubber. It's not plastic. It's just really hard rubber. And that you may be able to put this on drain fastener or geist fastener because of the plastic. But this disc is all right. I mean, it's not good. It's not bad. But the only way really thing is good. I, this is the the biggest disc we ever have in the series. And next, next we have Evolution. Evolution. Everybody likes Evolution. It has. It's really good. I mean, it's tall, so it can defend against defense types. That is this, like this um rubber is like really good. It's gonna take a while to wear down, and that it's not rounded much, so you're not gonna get like a you know a balance type rubber tip. So, and then if you wear if this Beyblade will have a a dash, then this bay and then this. Beyblade would be like really good because like it doesn't it won't not burst so It's really good And everything so this is E this is evolution and evolution If you guys probably won't like this but evolution is stronger than variable like variable is short evolution is tall evolution has like less and that is not rounded full way it's like a square with a circle inside of it, so it's really good. So yeah, so now let's talk about Beyblade Birth. Super Z, episodes 36, 35, 37, one of those numbers. So, the episode was alright, I guess. I mean, we got like the really, it's really good. I mean, I got, he lost against hearts. <laughs> If you guys don't know this, but Hearts is like my favorite character of all time. Like Hearts, he's like one of my favorite characters. Like it's Vault, then it's no, my bad. It's it's Hearts, then it's Vault, and then it's Iga, and then no, no, it's Shu, then Iga. My bad. All right, so Hearts won with another dead gravity on him. I, don't, I think the other movie was called like a dead impact. I'm not exactly sure. Don't quote me on that. But he hit he hit Iger with a dead with a dead impact. So the first match was also into a overfinish. Then the second match he did a he hit him with a dead gravity and he lost. And I was like, that's I, this, this everybody is like everybody doesn't want to make Iger like so overpowered. That's like the one downfall about this whole character. Like, he has a great backstory, he's good, and he's a great character. But then now, he's, they, they kept making him, they kept making him win. Like, he beat Louie of all people. Like, Louie, Louie's like one of the strongest Beyblade Burst characters of the whole series. And I could just beat him. Like, he, he, he tried and he beat him. That's like the wrong downfall that nobody like. And then... He like he on he then he beat Vault, which is like the number one blader in the world, and then Jit lost it in 24 hours to Hearts, and now um, now Iga still can't beat him. It wasn't a, like a match for his title, so our Hearts is still a champion. Iga, I mean like I really like the like the evil dark form of him. Because it makes the story, it makes the whole series good. Because when he didn't have the dark power, he was losing. Like, no doubt about that. Like, he was losing. Like, that dark power made him stronger. He would never beat Zayn. He would never would have beat Ken. Ken. What's his name? Kyle. He would never would have beat Kyle. He would never would have beat uh, LeBron. He would never be, He would never even beat Five. Five is one of my favorite characters too. He's in my top five. But I mean, come on, man. I mean, I already told you. You guys already know what I said last time. I rather have him. I rather have 
vault beat Iga and then vault baby broke. That would have been good. But not have Iga broke what's the name? But if he never would have broke winning Valkyrie, he wouldn't have this ultimate Beyblade. So yeah. I mean Vault is like he's a strong blader. But like they're not making Vault like an important character like they did in the last series. And then Ranjiro. I don't know if that's Rantaro or um Ranjiro clone but they look alike so I, I don't know but overall this episode was pretty great and then the next episode oh yeah I forgot in the next episode Fi comes back Fi bro we haven't seen Fi since he lost to Aiga so I'm so happy to have him back because Fi is a good character, like I said earlier. And now we're gonna see if Fi and Hearts talk I'm gonna be until the next episode is gonna be good. And then we have, and then like Walt guy, like he was like helping Iga, and then Shu, and um Shu. And Vault, they were talking about Iga saying that like, he had like a dark power and they think like Achilles are con controlling him. But then they find out like that's not Achilles, that's himself or something like that. I'm not exactly sure because you know I can't speak Japanese. So that's what I think they said. But overall, this episode was pretty good. So, this what, that's what they keep doing. Like last episode, it was like boring. Like, we got Shu, episode was great. And then, next, we got Iga versus Hart, which Hart still won because now he's still number one. And now, it's Hart versus Vought. Which, to be honest with you, Vault is losing one to zero. And it looks like in the next episode, he's having a hard time against Hart. So, overall, Vault probably gonna lose, which I don't want him to lose, because it wouldn't make sense, because, like, like, what's the point? Like, how are you gonna have, like, a new character when nobody knows, and it make him beat the reason why he Beyblades? Does that make sense to you? Like, when he beat Vault, I was like, that doesn't make any sense. Like, we all know, like, they, they eventually beat him. But, like, it's only the first season, and they're only really making it seem like Iga was here for, like, seven seasons straight. Like, I already told you, like, I really did not like that move when they make Benny Valkyrie. Like, they, the, no, not when he broke him, I'm talking about the reason why, how Iga won. Because, how are you gonna go on and beat Shu, and then a couple episodes later, beat everybody. Beat almost beat Louie, which I said he won. Vault won that battle. <sighs> Sorry, excuse me. Beating everybody. Beat what's his, I forgot his name was. Beat Cisco. All those people, and then all coming out, he comes up to a eleven year old and he loses to him. I was that just just dumb. Like the character development and the whole series is good, and then and they make him do like. They made them do like stupid things. What makes the series go downhill? All right, that the season is good, but like their downfalls to something like there's there's you guys probably let me get like saying no, it's not blah 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 and stuff. But I like Beyblade Burst Super Z. I'm not gonna watch Turbo because the voice actors on there are horrible. So don't even say that anything. But, I have to admit, Hart's character is really nice. Five's character is really nice. I just, I mean, it's okay, I guess. But overall, I really hope next episode, we don't know who's going to win. But I'm really hoping that it's a tie. Because I don't want Vought to lose one more time in that whole series. Because if he loses the whole series, I don't want to have like a... A motive to like do anything. So. 
If you get hearts back next heart, I meant five. I'm starting to think that hearts is the main antagonist. Don't quote me on that. Because we're only in 36 episodes and we don't know the, who the main antagonist is. Same thing. That's the one thing that these Beyblade shows have. Like, it doesn't tell who the main antagonist is to like the last 20 episodes of the whole season. Because they did it in the Beyblade Burst Tour, but we didn't know who the main antagonist was until, like, the end of the um, team battles. We didn't know who the main antagonist was until, like, episode 20. And then they didn't, they didn't even say nothing about Shu until the World League, which is dumb. That's when he became the main antagonist. And then now, we, we still don't know who the main antagonist is. I don't know about Beyblade. The original series. I don't know about G Revolution. I believe G Revolution did the same thing too. And then G Revolution did the same thing too. Beyblade vs. Metal Fusion. No. I think that's the only season that didn't do that of Beyblade. Like Ryuga? Like, they show Ryuga in the first episode of Beyblade, vs. Beyblade Metal Fusion. So. Yeah, they didn't do that in Bailey Bird Metal F Fusion, but they didn't. They did the same. They did that in Bailey Bird. Why are you saying Bailey Burst? In Bailey, I said it again. In Bailey Metal Masters, they did that in there. The main antagonist in there are, was uh, Doctor Zigger on them. And then doing Fury. Yeah, they didn't. They did. They didn't. They did that. They did the same thing what they did in Fusion and Metal Fury, like the whole main antagonist of all the Beyblade Metal is Diablo Nemesis, but it's really stupid. And then they really, did. They really do it to Shogun Steel, not exactly, because like, I mean, you can't have like go out who the main antagonist is. But they just they was they was dropping hints like who it was and stuff. But other than that, the series is good. I, out of all the thirty six episodes, I give it like an eight. So yeah, an eight. That's like really good. Oh, I give this episode a seven point five. All right, a seven point five. So thank you for watching my. Chosy Valkyrie review and Beyblade Burst Super Z episode 36 review. So, yeah, so like, comment, subscribe, and post a comment, a positive comment. Shout out goes to Bay Frost saying thanks for like nice video and stuff because not that much people like comment on my video so. If you want a positive comment out shout out, all you have to do is just say something nice about the channel. And I will shout you out. That's the print that's how, it depends how many people there are. That's all you have to do. Like my channel is becoming dead. Like what's the point of eight hundred subscribers? Nobody not even say anything. So yeah. But thank you for watching this uh Sozy Valkyrie Toy Review. And thank you for what wa wa Thank you for watching my video and bake away.